Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you are watching this, if you are here with me, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you very, very much. It means a lot to me, to anybody that's just checking out my videos, checking out my channel, checking out, you know, um, any social media of mine. So thank you very much. Maybe consider subscribing. If you're seeing this, consider subscribing. See when I post new videos. You know, keep up with the content, keep up with the shop and me and the cars and everything that's going on out here and everything I'm trying to do. Um, hit that like button for me. It helps me a lot. Uh, I can't get this YouTube stuff to grow without people liking, commenting, um, sharing the page, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. It all helps me out tremendously. Um, if you have already, thank you. You know I appreciate it if you have already. I say it every video. But... Today we have a Camry on the lift that I'm going to go ahead and get started on. That's what we'll be kind of focusing on getting done real quick. Hopefully I can have it done in a few hours. And then I'm also going to kind of show you what's uh, coming up next, what we'll be doing next. So stay tuned. I'll pick the camera back up when I get some progress done on this Camry and I'll show you guys how it's going. Got a like work beater Camry on the lift. You can tell the guy just uses it, you know, just to get back and forth. Something cheap, you know. From back here, it's like, okay, we got some exhaust rust and problems. Okay. And then you get up to here and you see this Bluetooth exhaust delete. Um, yeah. That's what we call the old Bluetooth cat delete you know it just connects from there to there bluetooth wirelessly <laughs> no but he told me uh i need a new muffler then i was like yeah it's my exhaust and now i get it on the lift and get under it and it's like it's it's more your full header back you know we should be replacing it all the way back but um he did bring me you know the mid pipe and the exhaust and everything so I'll probably have to just make that work from here to that new exhaust and then the rest of it should run back okay so yeah kind of a, a kind of a beat up car kind of an unknown issue that I, over the phone I wasn't really able to get the whole story on and now it's looking like it's gonna be a little bit more work but I think I can get her done all right, so let me get into it and I'll kind of show you guys once I figure out what it is I'm actually going to be doing. All right, so after having the customer come here and check this out, he decided to just have me improvise. Um, we couldn't find the OEM part. We didn't really look too hard, but basically just cut off the little bit of flex pipe that was left. and. Uh, we got some pipe just to fill this section in. It's not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be OEM, it's not gonna be the best, but uh, for a cheap beater like this thing, uh, it's really all it needs. So I'm gonna get this shit knocked out real quick, try to get this thing back down on the road, get him to come pick it up so I can start tearing apart the golf cart to get it ready to wrap. Oh yeah, this is our next project. I'm gonna be wrapping this golf cart in Ohio State red with Ohio State decals on it um, so yeah that should be next video or so next you know within the next video or two we'll be working on that um, I also have a few details to do so I'm gonna get this thing knocked out as quick as possible and get get it out so I'll pick the camera back up when I get this down, down on the ground and done alright so we got this new exhaust on we got the uh, missing part as good as we can. Sorry about that, dropped my phone. And she's all on, she's good to go. Had to do a little, little auto parts store rigging on the front of it, but should be good. Here's the old stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing down, tell the guy it's ready and get this thing out of the shop. So I can move on to disassembling this golf cart and getting it ready to wrap. Alright, 
So, it's a new day. Um, I got the Camry done. He came and picked that up. I did a little bit of work on the golf cart, got like the seat and some of the brackets and stuff off of it that day. And then I had a detail to do in between. Uh, I didn't really film it. Wasn't, you know, wasn't much to see. Um, so now it's a new day. I got the golf cart in here. I've been working on it for a little while. I, I think I have it just about ready to wrap. Um, there might be a few more little spots I gotta mess with, but I'll go ahead and show you guys, uh, show you what I've done and kinda go through what I'm about to do to it. So this front end had been wrecked at some point. I think this was like an actual uh, golf course golf cart. That's where most of them come from. So, you know, this thing had a rough life on the golf course, whatever. Uh, there's people that actually travel around and buy them from the golf courses used, um, kind of like an auction thing. And uh, they'll fix them up a little bit and then sell them to somebody else privately or another course or whatever. So the owner of this, I think, bought it from one of those dealer type guys that buy them in bulk um, and then brought it to me. So what I think that dealer did was, you know, at the golf course it probably got wrecked. That guy then uh, fixed it up a little bit, bondoed it, because you can feel on the back side the, uh, the plastic is actually ripped. <laughs> like there's actually a crack in it so he did like a decent job of filling it it's not the best I could see it before I ever even touched it you could feel it and see that spot and then there's just a few other spots that were damaged um, but like that is the original green you know that's the original green um, this is original green so what this dude does is he fixes them up and then he just sprays them real quick and matches that as best he can. And it didn't look horrible, but you could definitely tell it had been like sprayed basically. Um, so I just scuffed it all up because I didn't think it was going to stick to whatever he sprayed it with very well. Um, it should stick to that a whole hell of a lot better. And then I just went through and loosened up some of the clips and um, some of the pieces so that this can kind of move around and I have room to get up all the way up to the edges and hide all those and um, you know get down in here wrap underneath that lip um, wrap around these little guys that are hiding that you know and just try to make it to where I can get in here when I go to wrap it so the front I don't know I might do it it might end up one piece it might end up three pieces I'm not really sure yet but it's almost there and then there's just a few little scratches on this part and then like whatever the hell this was it looked like it looked kind of like ink or something I don't know but it was rough you could feel it so I just noticed another few little spots that I might just sand real quick um, just to get this thing level smooth you know something like this where there's just quite nothing quite on it scratched whatever but no real things sticking out no real things scratched in and whatnot, so. Yeah, so the other day I had to take off that bench seat that was back here, and then I took off the little seat belt bracket as well, just so I could have access to all this stuff, just so I can get in here and kind of try to fill some of this green. Um, Cause obviously the big pieces are fine, they'll cover a lot of it, but getting up in here would have been hard without removing this stuff, so. You know, you'll probably still see some green, but hopefully I can get it down into here. And then that, when that cover goes back on, we'll kind of hide it, but this thing's actually pretty gross. Um, it was hard to tell from the outside, but once I got to like cleaning on it, it really needs like washed, but I don't want to do that before wrapping it. I don't really want to do it at all because of all these freaking batteries, but it like sketches me out. I don't know what can get wet and what can't, but I don't want to wash it before just because I don't want water getting in all these little spots and everywhere. I would have to dry it out so super well so that water is not in here when I go to wrap. It's like I can, I've gotten it pretty well with alcohol. Like even this stuff is actually like damaged. It's not dirt. So like as you're seeing it right now, there's really nothing on it. I've even done inside the wheel wells, inside all these little plastics and tried to get all the little gaps and stuff. So 
I'll probably end up washing it once I get done completely and like tire shine up his wheels for him and really get this thing clean because I'd hate to give it back to him with like the fresh wrap on the outside and then just this dirty underneath of it. So it kind of sucks. I wish I would have known about it when he first dropped it off because then I could have washed it and it could have had, you know, almost damn near a week to dry out. But um, the alcohol and getting it in there with some microfibers and just being real meticulous will get everything off of the panel, the parts that are being wrapped and then I can kind of put it back together, clean it, um, and, you know, do it that way. Sorry, I know that was a lot of talking. Um, I know this is a long clip, but that's where I'm at on the golf cart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix a couple little more scratches and whatnot, and give it one more alcohol wipe down, and then I'm going to start mapping out how I want to wrap this thing. So I have been listening to the Buckeyes game, um, ironically, um, while I've been doing this. Because it's Saturday, Buckeyes are playing Rutgers right now, we're destroying them like 60 to 6 or, yeah, by a lot. But anyways, I've just been zoning out and working on this thing and uh, listening to the game, not wanting to pick up my phone, not wanting to turn it off the game, but I forgot I was supposed to be filming some of this. So, I got the front done, three pieces. I got one of the Buckeye stickers on the front and got uh, the little snap clips back in and everything and the front is done. Put the little rubber stuff back down and tucked all my edges so that way that's done. Now I'm starting on the back so let me go ahead and show you guys what I got done so far. Oh man on camera this stuff looks like pink. Um, so yeah. The edge is good, got all the clips back in the front, got the little rubber pieces back on. Went ahead and threw one of the Buckeyes. See like when I tilt my phone, the red sticks out a little bit more. It's weird. Um, got one of the Buckeyes stickers on it. I'm also gonna put one, you know, front and center, probably a bigger one. And then, yeah, started back in on the back panel, so. From the front, minus the one spot that I'm going to put something in. I might even put something on either side, but definitely going to put something big across the front. Uh, this thing's starting to look like a Buckeye cart. But we've still got lots of wrapping to do. Going to lay a piece on this, separate from everything else. Then I'm going to try to do like each side in one piece or two pieces maybe i don't even know it's going to be hard to get the whole side filled in up to here at least maybe even do a piece down on the side there but even if i do that in one piece like getting this whole side done in one which is what i would like to do is going to be kind of rough but that'll probably be a problem for tomorrow or Monday or whenever else I get to work on it, but I'd like to get it done by Monday, so I'm gonna keep cranking away. I'll try to pick up my camera. Hopefully that will at least be done tonight before I leave, so I'll try to fill you guys in on that. But either way, go Buckeyes. Wish I would have known the seat came off earlier because it was a lot easier to get in there without that on there, but anyways, like I said, Got this back panel done. Um, this is going to be a separate section, so I'll knifeless tape that line there, make it sh a little more straight, and then when I wrap this other one, pull the knifeless tape, it'll be a real nice seam. Um, so, yeah, that's what we got done today. Alright, so it's a new day. Um, I've been in here working for a few hours now and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the progress on this thing. Yesterday I got the front done almost 100%, just needs one decal on the front and then I started in on the rear, the front part of the rear, <coughs> got the little rubber isolator back in and everything so that's all good and then I started in on all the inlays around the seat because once the seat's back in um, you still can see some green in and around it. So. 
I just wanted to make sure that stuff all got hit with red um, so that when this thing's all back together, it basically looks like this thing came red. I don't want you to be able to really find any green on it. Um, obviously right now I still have to wrap, you know, the major portions of the rear and there's a few spots that I've trimmed out because the seat goes down and you'll never see it, but all this stuff I've been working on today is just, it's the little extra that, you know, just makes it just a little bit better. Um, I could have probably cut some corners, but I like pushing myself and doing this type of stuff just to get better. So even though the customer probably wouldn't have cared, um, I went ahead and kind of went over the top. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Like I said, this is just me practicing um, for like door jams, trunk jams, you know, the real intricate stuff. I just want to get better at it and use this to, to do that. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So yesterday I laid this piece. I got that rubber isolator back on. It looks really, really clean. Really, really nice around it. Um, so this panel turned out really nice. And then the seat goes on and you really will not see anything past the edge. And then like on this side, you see a little bit more underneath of it just by how the seat's made than that side. But I went ahead and wrapped it anyways. Um, and then like even around the stickers in the back area here, I have some, uh, I have some uh, knifeless tape around this edge. So that's why you'll see little tape spots here to hold that and just to mark it so I can remember because you really can't even see it. Um, so I didn't want to forget it was there, but basically around the stickers, you know, I just really tried to take my time and cut those out and it came out really good actually. So like I said, this stuff here and around all the stickers and everything wasn't super necessary just because the green's pretty dark so once the seat's on you know if everything else was red you you might not even notice that stuff but like i said just good practice just, uh, same with this area here wouldn't have been too noticeable once that big seat and everything goes back on here like you probably wouldn't have seen much there's that whole panel that goes over that but i would have known it was there so i just did inlays everywhere and I think I'm pretty much ready now for the big main panels. Um, so yeah, once we lay the sides in the back here, it'll probably be two, maybe three pieces on each side. This thing will be done other than putting in the decals. So the tape here is for when you lay the wrap and you want to go and tuck it down in there. Um, the wrap will stick less to the tape and let you actually stick it down in there rather than having to peel it off the plastic to get it down in there. So first time kind of trying that, I figured I would tape up as much as I can and just try, um, try that way of doing it. I've seen other people do it, so just kind of trying it out. But yeah, so far you can kind of see how this thing's going to turn out. Uh, it's going to look pretty good. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get back to work and show you guys once I get some more progress done. Alright, so before I get done and forget about it, um, I figured I would kind of show you before everything's all said and done, um, the seat on, and kind of what I meant when you don't see anything in the front since I trimmed it where I did around this side. <clears throat> really all you have to do is like this little part, but I did everything underneath, so you can see once it meets up to that piece you won't see any green in there and then when you look at it this way um, all that red will flow into the back and there won't be any green showing here um, so all those inlays in my mind were pretty necessary I'm sure I could have got away with it like I said but it looks way better when you stand back and look at this thing to have that done back there and then on this side, you actually see a lot more of what's underneath just because of how the seat's made. It doesn't have that handle and stuff. So, glad I went with what, you know, as much as I did. Um, it just, it's going to make it look so much better. So, 
I just figured I'd show you guys with the seed on real quick before I get the rest of it knocked out and uh, just give you an idea of my thought process on it and how I've been going about it and why I did what I did. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work on it. All right, so we are done wrapping the golf cart red. I just have to put the seat back on, the seat belt bracket back on, and that big ass back seat um, to get it reassembled. And then I gotta throw three decals on it, one on the front, two on the sides, uh, and this thing will be good to go. So it's pretty fingerprinted up and greasy right now. The wraps just kind of got fingerprints all over it, but. I'll go ahead and show you kind of disassembled what the red looks like and uh, show you once I get it all done. So here's how the red turned out on this side. Flows right into the front. All this stuff, seat area was pretty hard. I put this back on and realized some of the some of the edging in here shows, so that was kind of a pain. Um, these ended up being like three pieces, so that was kind of a pain, but either way, the customer's coming to pick this up soon, within like two hours, so I just need to get it put back together, so it's ready for him when he comes. It really doesn't look like much right now because for some reason inside the shop with these lights, it looks pink, and then it's missing the Ohio State decals. Um, and also the seat and everything put back together and get the tires and stuff cleaned up for him so go ahead and do that um, we are done with the golf cart I got the seats back in the seat belts back in and then I went ahead and like dressed up all the black plastic that's on it um, restored all the black plastic shined it up it looks ten times better clean the wheels tire shine those um, and just gave the golf cart a once over just like I was detailing anybody else's car. So we have the Buckeye stickers, Brutus on the front, Ohio State on the sides. Uh, I did a little special thing on the steering wheel where the old just like warning stickers and shit used to be. So I think all in all this thing turned out pretty good for just like a three day little project. Um, the guy literally only has like 250 bucks wrapped up in vinyl and then I charged them like 500 so for 700 bucks this golf cart looks 10 times better than what it did I personally would probably put a few more decals on it maybe a little bit bigger but these are the ones that he had wanted so I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys and all right so I showed you guys the front the other day when I got it done um, man I hit it with some ceramic detailer and it's shining real nice. Uh, we put Brutus on the front. We put a Buckeye logo on the front just to kind of dress it up. I think a bigger OSU here or a bigger decal there or even a stripe would have looked cool, but he didn't really want to have to pay for silver as well. Um, then we got the high State over here. We got all the plastics dressed up and looking nice. I didn't want to make them like slick and slippery, but they were really dull and dingy, so I just wanted to clean it up. This thing was actually really dirty and muddy. Um, we got the seats back in. Got the rear seat back in. I didn't even know it, but this thing actually like folds over. So this thing would be like the perfect tailgating whip. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got all this stuff back on without scratching up the back panels. And all in all, just got it shined up, cleaned up, looking good. Like, this thing came out pimp, man. You can look in behind the seat and everywhere and all the little nooks and crannies and you can't see, can't see no green left on this thing. Not even when you get up under it and the wheel welds and all that. I did the front, underneath the front. Like, this thing is red now. You are not going to find any green, so that was my goal.
All right, so that is going to wrap it up for this video. Um, the owner of the golf cart just came and picked it up. Uh, he did not bring his son with him, so um, I wasn't able to get his reaction. And I didn't even film it just because he was kind of in a hurry. We were talking, and he just kind of came and threw it on the trailer and picked it up. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate your business if you're watching this. Um, like I said, I wish I could have got, you know, their, their reaction to the son's reaction of, you know, the transformation, but it turned out good. Um, I was glad to do it. I'll do more golf carts in the future if anybody wants to bring me one. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, if you made it this far, leave me a comment. Um, leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. Um, I really appreciate everybody who watches and uh, who subscribed so far. And that's going to wrap it up. So, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.